morning everyone welcome back to the channel before we get going if you're already subscribed to the channel don't forget to hit the sub button ring that little bell it gives you a notification every time i post a video and at the end of the video if you enjoyed it hit the like button comment down below all those things help the channel so if you do that i would be eternally grateful so we're back telling it is now tuesday morning uh, you've seen the last video went up sunday we had a little bit of rain on sunday evening and monday was a fairly good day not much sunshine a little bit uh, but mostly overcast warm with a breeze uh, so I'll come down yesterday evening monday evening to see what it was like uh, the hay was dry had dried out very nicely on top i shook it out yesterday evening around seven o'clock and overnight it has dried very well still a mild warm breeze and uh, yeah good drying so Right out lovely Tuesday morning I'm then shaking it up again there's it's almost there there's very little uh, green pieces now showing up in it a uh, couple around the headland but uh, it's looking like it could be fit for this evening so uh, which will be great because there is a chance of rain coming uh, tonight Tuesday evening so uh, or Tuesday night sorry into Wednesday morning uh, so yeah shaking it up now I think it's around half ten four to eleven uh, on Tuesday morning now at the minute so uh, yeah, the plan is uh, we'll shake it up, uh, we will go home. I don't think I'll need to shake it up again. Uh, I think we'll be rowing it up, will be the next thing in the afternoon. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works out. David Brown will be on rowing, rowing duty. So, yeah, I'll put the camera out the back. You'll kind of see how it's shaking up. You'll see uh, that it's coming very nicely. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back later on with uh, the next part of the video and an update on what we're doing, whether we're going to row it, whether we're not, we'll see what happens. Right, so we're down just trying to get this all rolled up we've got some monster some monster rain, wind rows out of the the hay bob uh, there's a hell of a crop on this that's why it was so hard to get it dried out uh, but it is drying lovely breeze sun was in and out a little bit earlier it's just gone in again now at the minute we can see above us has clouded over a bit but really warm uh, breeze and I think we might get a little bit more sunshine. Hopefully we don't get any more rain. There's a couple of darker clouds coming, but I don't think it's going to rain. We've had, I'm just keeping a tight eye on the radar and it's shown all through the Midlands, it's raining and just, as it seems to be coming more east, it's fizzling out and disappearing. So I think we're okay for now. There is rain gonna come, I think tonight or overnight. So we need to get this off the ground today. So what I hope to do is as soon as he's got this all, uh, all, all rolled up, uh, I'll start to bail it and I'll start over on this side here that uh, I'll do the couple of rounds around the headlands and I'll start in on this side and uh, do the the first rows that has all been rolled up I'm gonna put the drone up get a wee bit of footage of him rolling it up uh, ah, there's something lovely about seeing the David Brown walking isn't there like everyone loves the fancy new stuff everyone loves all the gadgets and digital screen <laughs> buttons and everything that they do but uh, to see a tractor like from the 70s or 80s you know, a nice one walking. There's something great about it. I'm just looking at it here. Here he comes. We get another bit of footage of him.
Super. Uh, just looking at it here. Like these big lumps. If you look through them, look at see the likes of that there. There's what a very odd time in those big lumps. I've just been looking through the rest of the rows. You could just get a little green piece like that. Now I've often seen it before. It's not going to make that much difference to it. It'll dry out in the bale. When the rest of the, the hay around it is dry, uh, it'll it'll just uh, absorb into what's beside it. Uh, but yeah, overall, lovely stuff. Nicely, nicely seasoned. You know, always want to hear it rattling like that when uh, when you know it's really fit. And if you kind of hold the hay, it's kind of warm of itself. So that's what you want to see. It'll make lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, and should be nice green bale. So let's get the drone up get a wee bit of footage and uh, we'll get bailing. Uh, another thing, we haven't taken any hay off this ground, I'd say it's maybe three or four years, but look at that, see all the hay seed? It'll help to, some of that will strike, especially if it gets a bit of slurry, it'll help to, to rejuvenate the grass seed as well, so it's a good job for the ground. No headland management there. Okay, so we are up and running, we've the headlands just taken out of it and uh, just started to open it up a little bit, uh, but yeah, going well. Uh, you can see sun has come out, uh, more or less, still a little bit of cloud over to that side, but blue sky is this way, so hopefully uh, it should stay, it should stay dry as we get this done. Uh, I'm actually just having to hold the GoPro in my hand because I only took one of the suction mounts uh, which has been used to hold the model up. So unfortunately there will be no uh, GoPro footage out the window today because uh, it's just whatever I can hold, uh, whatever way I can hold the GoPro. But uh, yeah, going well. I think we've got about 28 or 9 bales bailed and uh, yeah, cut me better. Uh, Baylor is working well. Uh, I have got it set up. I always set the, the netting on manual, so it just allows me that I can fill up the two little bars here even, and then hit the button. You see one of them there has actually come back a little bit because 
I'm not paying full attention because I'm on the GoPro. But uh, yeah, going well. Uh, I'll try and get uh, try and get a little bit of drone footage now. Uh, I'll put the drone up, see if I can get a, a few clips of that, and uh, hopefully it continues on the way we are. Uh, so far, so good.
and with all the growth we've had over the last three weeks it has just jumped out of the ground and it got stemmy and shot out so uh, they're late crops I, I mowed them at the weekend I never actually torn, torn them I just mowed them and laid them out flat with the spreading veins and uh, I'll I'll check them off depending on what it does it did rain overnight uh, it didn't do that much it was dry again this morning the ground was dry this morning so uh, but I'll, I'll see what it does today if it dries out today I might shake it off this evening and it's to be dry then right off today's Wednesday so it's going to be dry up until Sunday I think so uh, we should get them all bailed off maybe uh, maybe on Friday or even on Saturday we'll see how, the, how it goes uh, but yeah great, great to get the the hay saved that we have anyway and it's a start uh, we still have plenty more hay to make and hopefully the weather will play ball with us uh, I'm just down at the minute I'm doing a little bit of topping uh, in a field that I had intended it's right beside where we made the hay it's just on the other side of the road and the cows usually graze this it's part of the grazing uh, rotation for them down here but I had planned to leave this, really like three acres in this field. I planned to leave it and do it with this with the eight acre field we bailed yesterday. And three weeks ago we moved them in, we, uh, it's not three weeks, but two and a half weeks ago we moved them into this to graze it. And we were afraid that we were going to run out of grass on the other side of the road where, where they had been grazing so far this year. And in hindsight now, we shouldn't have put them in, we should have mowed this and, and took the, the hay off it because I'm in top of some of the stemmy grass off it and, uh, to try and get them to eat, it, eat down the last bit of it. Uh, with the phenomenal growth we've had over the last few weeks, the grass has just jumped out of the ground uh, over where they had been grazing and they, we wouldn't have had enough without actually putting them into this, but hindsight's great. At the time, growth wasn't great and it started to look a little bit like we were going to be under pressure for grass down here so anyway that's the way it works out we're down now to the last little bit there's only a bit of a strip left but you can see maybe you'll see some of the stemmy grass out the window uh, yeah look at it. we need the minute for another day or so they might eat some of it down if they don't it'll not be the end of the world it'll rot away and uh, we, we can uh, We'll probably spread a little bit of slurry on this over the next few days once the cows actually come off it. Uh, we're using the old Abbey top up and it's doing a good enough job. Uh, it's, it's cutting it down well. It's not, probably not just cutting it as low as what I would like. Uh, ideally you'd want to come in with the mower, one of the mowers and mow it down but I just don't fancy getting the mower destroyed in, uh, in cow dung and having to spend the whole day washing it off. And so uh, yeah, the top will have to do. we're on to the next job we are now spreading some fertilizer trying to get a bit of fertilizer out on the silage ground we've cut the silage now it's not two weeks yet but it's probably about 11 days and uh, the story went out then in the few days preceding that has been lifted and uh, I suppose you could say that the the slurry is out about a week on the ground now at the stage and it's greened up quite nicely you can probably just see it over my shoulder now it has greened up well uh, we've got uh, it's just a nice cover of grass a uh, bit of rain that we had just it kind of washed in the it, it washed in the bit of slurry that we put out and it's just a nice order now for receiving the fertilizer uh, no rain really forecast over the next few days but uh, anyway, it's not matter. It's coming, I think, around the weekend at some stage, and it'll get washed in then. Uh, so yeah, just trying to get that done and get it moving along uh, to get ready for the second cut. Uh, yeah, a wee bit of drone footage. I'll pop it up now, and uh, yeah, we'll see you after that.
we're back in the yard. Fair to spread off. It's hooked off, we washed it down, hitched it off, and we have the tether back on, ready to go. Uh, we're going to see in the morning what the weather's like. It's forecast to be very good in the morning. If it is, we'll get tedding at the grass early. Uh, maybe get a tethered a couple of times tomorrow. Uh, Friday, and tomorrow and Friday will be two good sunny days here with us, so we'll see. The forecast hasn't been right over the last few weeks every day, so we'll see. I'll believe it when I see it, but yeah, we'll see what it does. Uh, we'll get it dried up a little bit. If it dries well enough before Saturday evening to, and doesn't rain and we get hair of it, brilliant. If not, we'll tell it up, we'll roll it up, we'll bail it and we'll wrap it. We'll just see what we'll, we'll see what happens with the weather. Uh, either way, we're happy enough to have the hair that we have uh, saved. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's really it for today's video. Uh, just before we go, big happy birthday to David Martin in Broomfield. Uh, David's mother, Patricia, was on to me. She said that he is 13 years old this Saturday, watches all the videos. So, uh, David, have a great day. Uh, welcome to the world of being a teenager. And uh, here, big into driving tractors and all that kind of stuff. Keep it between the ditches. Doing a good job, so keep that up. So, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, hit the sub button, leave a like in the video, comment down below if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next one, hopefully over the weekend. Take care.